This woman has it. She's warm and funny and charismatic. She's the kind of person you always remember the first time you met. We met her on a snowy day around Christmas. She had a twinkle in her eye and she had a gift for everyone. Her name, of course, is Santa. Santa means saint. You've heard the song Santa Lucia. Santa Lucia. Santa Lucia. Santa came to tender care of Westwood at Thanksgiving. She's recovering from cancer. If you have to be sick, you have to be rehabbed. This is the place to do it. The care is wonderful. The people are great. The food is great. And if there was something to complain about, trust me, I would tell you. Santa told us a lot of things. For example, there's the night nurse who just won't bend the rules. Two o'clock this morning, she was sitting on my bed, and I said to her, I need a pain pill so bad. She said, well, you're not going to get one. I said, why? She said, because I gave it to you three hours. I said, so you're going to make me suffer another hour? She said, yes. And she wouldn't give me that stinking pill until 4 o'clock this morning. <laughs> Next time I come in here, if I ever come back, I'll bring my own pills and stick them in the drawer. <laughs> you better cut that out. Despite those differences regarding pain management, Santa and her daughter, Jane, love this place. There's just a wonderful spirit here. I have not come across not one person here that has not been warm, kind, loving. They're wonderful people. This Santa's a good one. Despite being pretty sick, she makes other people feel pretty good. Wherever she goes, we meet people. We bring joy to people, we bring laughter to people. <laughs> and have such a good time. Santa's here, Santa's here. <laughs> she provides a lot of comic relief in times that are very difficult for other residents. So we kind of joked around, it was around Christmas time, we said Santa's in town, spreading Christmas spirit. So that's what she did for us and for other residents. But Santa isn't always on. She has her moments, dark, lonely moments in the middle of the night. I hate to say it, but there are times when I feel sorry for me. In that dark hour, I thought, oh, you know, I'm gonna die here, and what have I accomplished 80 years? But then Trish came in and sat next to me holding me. That was one of the times I needed to be held and said, but you're getting better and you're gonna be well. That's what I feel here. I feel like a person. Sometimes in this business, it's hard to distinguish who's really giving the care. Residents and caregivers become close, lines blur. The people at Westwood obviously care for Santa and she takes care of them as well. I'll never forget the day I met Santa. She gave me a gift, and that was to tell me how wonderful this center was, that every single person that she came in contact with had been wonderful, helpful, caring, and all this happened in the Christmas season. So I felt like I really got a great Christmas gift from Santa. <laughs> Tender Care of Westwood is still a nursing home, but now it's also home to a mutual admiration society. Everyone loves Santa, and Santa loves everyone at Westwood. You understand God put these people in this here to take care of people like us. That's all I can tell you, is they all really care. And at Extend-A-Care, that's what it's all about, helping people live better. <laughs>